Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Eddie and this is Tekken 7. This time we're going to be going over Paul Phoenix and his launch punishable moves, his jab punishable strings, and strings that we can flash in the middle of. I've decided to change the format of my video, making it shorter and easier to decipher. With that being said, I hope you enjoy. The magic behind Paul's uh, demo man combo is that the down four is always, if it's blocked, it's always going to be launch punishable. But he has a down one that he can do before it. Um, that's the only mix up for it. But if you're able to block that low, you are actually able to get a free punish off of it. Don't say abuse it as much as you can. Unfortunately, with the down one mix up, he also has a two option that he can do that is mid. And if you are able to punish that, if you're able to guess it correctly, you are able to get a crouch dash one punish, as if it was a normal death miss as well. And so Paul's down plus one plus two is a shoulder charge, but it is launch punish for on block. Uh, most balls probably won't do this, but just in case you catch one slipping, this will be an optimal punish for you to just do a simple uppercut and make him pay for his dumb decision. And ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for the launch punishable section. We're going to go over to the jab punishable section. Uh, jab, knockdown, either or. And to start with the punishable moves, we got down 2-3 that you can only really punish via low parry or while rising 4. Next we have 2-4 that you can punish by ducking and then getting a wall rising 2-1 combo. Next we have 2 down 3, the same as Yoshimitsu's. Yeah, you can probably only get a wall rising 4 or a low parry off of this one as well. Up next we have 3 comma 2, it is mid high, it is safe on block if you block the high, but if you can duck under you can get a wall rising 2-1 punish off of this move. Next we got forward 2-3-4, it's high high mid and it's at least negative 10, I believe negative 12 on block as well. Yeah. Next up we got down forward 3-4, it is mid mid but negative 10 on block. Coming up behind that, we have a back 1-2, both of which are high. You can duck under to get a wall rising 2-1 punish. Up next behind it is back 2-1, and this is a double mid. It's safe on block, but you can flash the second hit. Boom, just like that, baby. And this move is forward, forward, 2-2, two, two, mid, low. Uh, you are able to get a wall rising 3-2 punish from it. Or if you're lucky enough to get a low parry, you can get a low parry combo off of it as well. Coming up right now, we got the legendary shredder kicks. Luckily for Yoshimitsu, we can flash only two out of three of these strings. In no source stance, we can flash all three of them. Uh, if Paul were to go for the higher mid variant, in one sword stance we are able to get a flash, but if they go for the low, unfortunately we would have to be in no sword stance to be able to get a flash of that. Next we got quarter circle forward three. It's just a sneaky little low someone's able to slide in. If we are able to punish it, it is negative 11. We can get a wall rising four punish off of it. Also a low parry. So quarter circle forward three plus four. Yoshimitsu can actually punish this with his flash on block. Yeah. 
And coming up next, we have Quarter Circle back 3 2, either 3 or 1. And it's a devastating string of attacks. But the beauty behind this move is that it is always high or low at the end. So there's no mid guarding that you need to do. Either you can duck and punish it like I do here, or if you expect a low, you can flash the third hit and get yourself a combo off of that as well. The next move that we got coming up is quarter circle back one plus two. This is a high hitbox mid, but fortunately it is at least a negative 12 on block. And the move after that we have wall rising three two, if you'll see me going over there, yeah? No, not that one. Yeah, there you go. Wall rising three two is a mid high, normally done in combos, but typical high fashion, we just duck the high and we get a wall rising two punish off of it. This whammy of a move we got coming up here is full crouch down toward 1 plus 2. Uh, it's at least negative 11 on block. I wish this move was launch punishable. Uh, unfortunately, you can get a wall rising 4 or you can low carry it and make yourself a combo out of that one. And what we got coming up now is this 10 hit combo. Look at that, the first one is just brutal. I think it's like the seventh hit. You can get yourself a low parry combo off of that one. And the second one, the second 10 hit combo, comes in at the fifth hit. You can get yourself a nice little low parry combo off of that as well. And ladies and gentlemen, this will mark the end of my video. Please tell me how you like this format better from the old one. I think it's uh, I think it's highly simplified. Uh, I didn't get the numbers crunched down as well as I'd like to, but at least I made it a little bit shorter. Um, if you do like this video, please leave it a like. If you want to let me know how I did in this video, please leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time.